Hello, humans and non-humans alike! Gang, good ever applies to you! And we are finally back on Senran Kagura Burst Renewal. Alright, I think we can just straight up go to mission! Uh, we're on chapter 4, Yin Yang Scroll Trial. We're going to train for the Yin Scroll. Villagers will be disguised as evil shinobi. Prove we are the power to take them down swiftly. And hell no, we're not putting it on max difficulty. No, 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 no. Which is specified character. Yep. I wish they had just somewhere that said specified character. I mean, I know it's just clearly. So the showdown with Heavy Joe is almost here. I walk around the shops district to bathe in the light of the setting sun. I stare indifferently at my lengthening shadow. I may have taught the big to Habari, but I'm still pretty wet behind the ears myself. Grandpa told me how power has to be paired. There's to be a pairing of sword and shield. I still don't know what he meant by that. I've got a long way to go on the path of the shinobi. In my fight so far, I've learned that combat is about more than just swordplay and secret ninja arts. Sometimes my enthusiasm for battle can make up for my physicality. If not for that, there'd be no way someone like me with so much still to learn could survive. But this time, I'll be fighting Homura, and she has a super secret ninja arts goal. Every <laughs> time I say that, <laughs> it just fucking cracks me up. Unless I figure out what Grandpa meant, I don't think I'll be able to lay a finger on her. In the middle of my aimless wandering, someone bumps into me from behind. Is it another pit pocket? It's a red-haired girl with a bandana concealing her mouth. With that, the girl takes off as if she were running away. Um, haven't I seen her somewhere before? And it didn't seem like an accident either. I hurriedly search my cleavage. Yep, my wallet's gone. That girl must have taken it. She's one of the grunt mountain thieves, just like last time. I start chasing after her. Since I noticed the theft right away, it doesn't make, take me long to catch up to her. Why do you stuff your wallet in your cleavage? You're a high school! Don't you have pockets? A bag? The redhead looks back at me and tries. That's when it happens. I glimpse a shadowy figure, and then the redhead drops like a sack of potatoes. The figure picks up my wallet off the road, and I see her face. Homura. Oh, she approaches me with my wallet in hand. She sighs as she holds the wallet out to me. I take it back and scratch my head. Homura stares directly into my eyes. I involuntarily gasp. 
絶対に返してもらうよあれはこのお財布より大事なものなんだから My words give Homer a thin smile 100% 返り討ちだがなそんなことない私たちだって負けないよ I say that with all the conviction I can muster お前たちは勝てない By the way, I'm no longer reading the parts where they actually speak. Y'all can read that shit for yourselves! I know I'm just needling her at this point. She gives me a bitter smile. She turns her back on me and starts walking. The words are out of my mouth before I realize I've said them. I start to smile. She clicks her tongue at me. Time to feed the enemy! I put on my most cheerful voice. Homer looks genuinely confused. Me, I just keep the momentum going. What the hell are you gonna buy with the 500 yen? I look her dead in the eye. She thinks about it for a second, then the corners of her mouth turn up in a little smile. I reply with a thumbs up. I take her to Grandpa Sushi Restaurant. Perfect timing, too. No customers at the moment. Grandpa's eyes go big and round when he sees us walking in. I say as Homer throws her guard up. Damn! Guess Grandpa's well known even within Heavy Joe. Well, no introduction necessary then. I put my hands together as I plead my case. I nudge Homura from behind, steering her toward a seat at the counter. Homura keeps her eyes on Grandpa, she orders. That's when Grandpa breaks into a big smile. Grandpa lays out the usual futamaki roll for me and the lineup of seasonal fish for Homura. Skipjack, tuna, striped jack, sea bass. My futamaki roll is good, but seeing her meal makes my mouth water. <laughs> Just her eating the rolls! Staring at her! Oh my god! Oh, this is wonderful! I bite into a thick futamaki roll. Homura eats her sushi delicately. Her table manners remind me a lot of Ikarugas, which surprises me, actually. I wouldn't have thought Homura would do anything delicately. We both relish our meals. Grandpa doesn't try to talk, and Homura doesn't say a single word. Because the food is just that good. Grandpa proclaims the meal is on the house. Without a word, Homura gives him a polite bow. It's getting pretty dark outside the restaurant. We walk through the shop's district in silence. It's not even that we feel awkward around each other, it's more like that comfortable silence shared by old friends. What an odd feeling. We didn't meet all that long ago, and most of our time together so far has been in life or death battle on opposite sides. But she still feels like an old friend to me. <laughs> I'm not putting it very well, and Homer lets out a big sigh. Honestly, neither do I. Like I said, I can talk big to Hibari, but I don't really know what the path to the shinobi is. For starters, I still don't get Grandpa's whole sword and shield thing. But there's one thing, one thing I've always known. Homer perks up when she hears me say that. Why 
Homer probably thinks I'm all talk, but it really is the way I've always felt. Homer mutters. What does that mean? Now that she mentions it, she's right. I can't help but think about it in chess terms. Grandpa was like a rook or a knight moving out ahead of the pawns. Not the kind of strategy you usually see. Homer smiles a little. I noticed we're near the edge of the shop's district. I don't expect her to answer, but I ask anyway. As soon as I ask, she spins around to face me. We stop and look each other in the eyes. Her pupils are stunningly clear. A hint of a smile flickers across her face. When I can't find the answer, she turns back around and keeps walking. She declares to reach the end of the shop's district. I'm still fumbling for a response, but she vanishes like a shadow. I almost feel like I've been hallucinating. I stand there staring at the empty space where she'd just been. When my phone goes off, I snap back to reality. I look at the screen and see Kat's name. Oops, didn't mean to shout. ゼンを貫き通すためには時に聖濁合わせ飲むことも必要となるそれが故に半蔵学院には院というやつ。いや、これは いわば陽の超秘伝忍法書。そしてここにあるのがもう一つの陰の超秘伝忍法書だ。I guess it's meant to be similar to that like how they have the frantic mode and the burst mode。どうして私に私より強いカツネイヤイカルガさんがいるじゃないですか。確かに実力なら、カツラニヤイカルガの方がお前より上だ。しかし that reminds me, they recently announced Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Homer's eyes are glazed. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, we got Pokemon Sword and Shield, and we got the Rising of the Shield Hero. We got the Center and Cover of Sword and Shield. <laughs> Just because of the Rising of the Shield Hero, everyone's gonna go Shield. <laughs> Everyone who likes that anime is just gonna go Shield with everything from now on. Shield, Shield, Shield. Who knew Captain America would be so right? <laughs> okay, let's just let's just do the auto. Oh, student. And he blames himself. However, that failure is what makes him a better teacher.
You heard the man, get moving! Advance! I'll show you a dance cloaked in shadow. Arnold National Academy, second year! Oh, right, shit, it's been so long I almost forgot the controls. Okay, that's block. That's special. Okay, no, that's not the person I meant to hit. Uh... Oh, wrong thing. Right, right, that causes a knockback. Hey, I want to take her out first, because there's a chance she has the scroll. So on the off chance she has the scroll... Mm, no, I didn't see it. Okay. Uh... Oh fuck, I didn't mean to... Okay, it has been a while. I probably should have done like some free missions or something to get myself used... <laughs> ...back to being used to the controls. But I didn't, so deal with it. Alright, is she high enough level for it now? I think you have to be at least level 15. Yeah, nope, she's not high enough level. Damn. Okay, how do I... Ah, oh, fuck, that was a burst. Alright, it was right trigger. Ah, eh, boy. All of my enemies will be destroyed! Oh, hello! You probably have the scroll. Alright, wrong button. Damn it. Wrong button for block. DESTROY ALL IN FRONT OF YOU! You think I would be defeated by a mole? Okay, maybe. Shit. Well, I know, at least I know better than to block the purple. Don't block purple attacks! There we go! Alright, now I can just compl go on the offensive and destroy them all. Oh, oh it's closed off from here. Alright. There's only one scroll on this level. Hello, Lesser Shinobi! You're in my way! Wait, what the hell was that move you just pulled out? I don't know what the hell she just did! Okay, I'm not doing too bad now. Yeah, to my enemies! ALL YOU CAN DO IS BE DESTROYED! Oh yeah, I gotta remember, I can only press because pressing it again will put me down. And if Light Shinobi, if the Light Shinobi weren't so strict about their rules, it'd probably be less, less, of it, less evil Shinobi. I say this is poor Omra. She just defended herself. And they disown her. That's fucked up. Thanks. 
I'm surprised they just didn't bind the uh, left stick, uh, like L3 to the sprint. It seems like it would make more sense than, oh, well, shit. Uh, dealing with these big ones is always a problem. Activate the power of the burst! Oh. oh, that almost completely killed you. And mission complete! Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. You did well. Don't be so happy! Exactly! Good teacher! Praise him too much, and they get careless. And I got a D. No! My grades are terrible in ninja school! Oh, you almost got the blooming thing, though. Human type Yoma, part one. Let's get home. We're at Hanzo Sushi Shop. And we're gonna return to the ninja room. Mainly so we can buy that picture we just got. Yep, that was the only reason. <laughs> that and, um, I can't see how many- Uh, actually, no way, I could just press start. I don't have to go back anymore. I wonder if I just press start. Well, I'm stupid. Okay. The power to protect. Asuka, I'm thinking of having you hold on to the Yin Scroll. The disguised villagers are hiding it from you. Take it from them. Switching Shinobi is not an option. Start the mission! Oh wait, shit, I didn't even check to see what scrolls <laughs> If you don't want her to die, then you must fight! You must have the power that you can defeat your enemy and leave them alive. ホムラちゃんはそう言っていた。私が一生懸命に戦えば、ホムラちゃんは生きていることを実感するのかな。みんないろいろな理由があって戦うんだ。だから迷ったり悩んだりしてる暇はない。I mean, as far as numbers are concerned, the Hanzo school's at a disadvantage. Because they only have about... Has, yeah, they said they only have like five students per thing. There's the heavy judges as an army of students, but I guess Hanzo could always call and help from other schools. Hmm. Basically, personally, I just think heavy judges has the advantage. And his Hanzo thing clearly handles it like it's just a very small class specialized high school. Whereas the Heavy Jar handle it like they're legit going to die. Wait, where am I? There we go. Alright, time to see if this activated. Alright, now, right, 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 it was a show me transformation curse. Get things way too much. Oh, I should have hammered in some free missions before I started. It didn't even occur to me. I could have just farmed for some money to buy everything.
die. Okay. Another game in this style, if you have a Vita, okay, because I mean, yeah, they're gonna discontinue the Vita, so you should probably get all the Vita stuff you can now before it all disappears. Anyway. Oh, the rest All right, I think I mentioned it a couple of times. I'm playing this. This is Valkyrie Drive Behemoth. It's this, but in Valkyrie Drive universe instead of this. Actually, I don't even know if it's in the same universe or not. I mean, I doubt it, but it could be. It, it's the same type of you know lady brawler and all that, except you know without the removal of certain things that were done for censorship purposes. All right, try it. No, damn it. No, I still can't activate it. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, hi! Uh, with me today is the mushbutt known as Nico. She is currently tapping me because she wants rubs, but I can't rub her right now. Yeah, she likes her rubs and scratches. She's such a silly little demonic mush. She goes by the names Mush, Mushbutt, Demon Mush, Mush Miss Prime. Her official title is the Demon Captain Nico Mush Miss Prime. Yep, that's your official title. Don't you like it? I mean, I know I keep changing it. I mean, I figured leaving you as the captain would be good. You know. Because you're the least destructive of the furballs in the house. But you're still a, but you're a cat, so you're still destructive. Anyway. The thing is, uh, Valkyrie tries being Yukuni. A lot easier than this. Like, I just started that thing out on hard, I didn't even start with normal, and I was winning everything pretty much, and I only just recently realized that I could use special moves like a cannon here when all the blips are full, and I almost beat the game already, and I only just realized it. And I've been playing on hard, and the enemy has been using those special moves. I'm like, ah, what kind of combo did they pull out? And it's just, no, I just had to hold the button. <laughs> yeah, the same type of button combos as two. Oh, yeah, I, I have trouble. Mm, I feel like I should start stocking up on things. This is only the start of your training, young Asuka! She is absolutely pumped up! Push it to the limit! Limit! Walk along the bases! Push it to the limit! <laughs> well, higher combos mean higher power. We now have the ultimate form, Blooming. And we're out of time. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like, go on a comment, subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats and whatever else I decide to put up there. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you.